What's up guys? Heeking here bringing you a live reaction to this month's Boruto chapter, chapter 61. Holy crap, we're on 61 now. Time just flies, doesn't it? I mean, when did this when did this series start? Back in 2016. So it's what it's been a good 5 years now. That's crazy. That's so insane that we've gotten that we've reached this point. We're like well, volume 15 now as well. So we're sort of like at the halfway point uh, if you know if the series about this in uh, about volume 30. So yeah, that's crazy, man. Uh, but yeah, hopefully uh, this chapter will be good because I don't really remember what happened last chapter. Just a bunch of talking again with the characters. It's getting really stale and boring, especially when you had those big moments that happened a few chapters back and now it's just sort of really slowed down to a crawl, just sort of introducing new characters and just building up the confrontation between uh, Boruto, Kawaki and Code. And now Ada is it and her brother Damon. But yeah, let's get into it. So we're starting off with a cover picture of a motto, and the chapter is called uh, Madness. Okay, Madness as it is. Madness. Let's bring this a bit closer so I can actually see the pictures. So let's go. Page one then. So we got uh, Boruto chilling with uh, Kawaki, Inojin, and Shikadai outside. All right, here goes. Please give me old man Sasuke. And all oh, right, the... The player doing a little card game, they're buying more cards, he's pulling out and it's Shino. Ah, damn it. And Kaboom. <laughs> and Shikadai's like, ah, Kaboom. You know, they, they, they may just be playing cards, but you shouldn't curse out your mentor. Hmm? Energy saying that, he's like, yeah, he's right, why are you just saying yeah, 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 Shino, man, he's awesome. I'm cussing my crap, my crap here than crap luck, okay? <laughs> Boruto's just smacking down the cards onto the floor in front of him to the air. Damn it. Kawaki's just like, he notices something. He looks to the side. And there's some guards. I think I think last chapter revealed that they, he gets followed around the village. So there's some guards looking at him, like, obviously keeping their eyes on him. And Boruto's like, ah, and thank you for your hard work. He's not... And Inogen, Inogen's like, he's not even bothering to hide. Yeah. It's like, there's plain there. We're here, by the way. We can see you. Yeah. Yeah, you keep your... Sh you, you, don't, you better not do anything. You will not do anything or we're gonna, you know, we're gonna, we're gonna arrest you. And she's like, go easy on them. Uh, we have no clue when or where the enemy will attack. It's thanks to them watching us that you can be carefree and go down in flames and X cards. And bro, just like, I know that, but uh, being watched 24-7 like this is starting to stress me out. Kawak is like, yeah, right. You've been sleeping like a baby every night with an idiotic look on your face. <laughs> Okay, and yeah, the talking still going. How dare you insult my sleeping face? Haha, <laughs> I could just see it. Who's saying that? Haha, I could just see it. Shikadai, I can see it. That seems a bit weird from Shikadai to say that, but okay. And yeah, Boruto continues to talk. Besides, this entire village is protected by a super strong sensory net, right? So why the need for direct surveillance? And Koaki, like, oh, this is new to him. Sensory net? What's that? Uh, no one's ever explained that to him. Okay, interesting. Energy is like a barrier around the village. It automatically checks everyone coming in or going out of Konoha. When Koji's like, but how? Then Shigadai adds in, chakra are like fingerprints. No two are identical. So the net compares chakra against the database and decides if the individual is known or not. Interesting. So I, I mean, obviously that's how uh, Kashi and Koji go in because he had Jiraiya's DNA. I wonder if they even figured that way. I mean, this is interesting. It's interesting that this uh, chapter comes out of the last episode. I've not seen it. Yeah, I read, I read what last episode is, but like, it's interesting because the last episode in the anime um, had Kakashi and Shikadai's group basically chase down Kakashi and Koji and uh, and them realizing that this dude was obviously someone from like the third Ninja World War or something. If they have, because obviously you wouldn't have been able to get in unless they had his prints on. So. Yeah, and they realize this dude must have been someone from the village. Uh, though they never really figure out that it's a, a clone of Jiraiya. But still, like, it's interesting, like, the parallels between that episode uh, a few days ago and, and then uh, this chapter now coming out. So it's like, okay, it's easy. It's sort of, it's sort of tying together now. And Akarik is like, and if the visitor's a newcomer, the sensory unit and HQ can determine if they're an enemy, like with Delta and Ishiki. I was like, yep, any entering enemy is caught immediately. That's why direct surveillance is redundant and unnecessary. And energy's like, but Boruto, it's not like the sensory net is spying on every one of us all the time. First off, that would be a violation of privacy. Haha, -ha, that's, that's funny in today's age. Yeah, huh? That's, that's, that's hilarious. The system usually only checks your chakra when you enter the village, since the purpose is only to determine who the person is. And Kawaki's like, so then it can detect the infiltration of a foe? 
but dealing with them is a whole separate issue. Uh, and Rose, Boruto's like, right, I see your point. Wait a sec, does that mean... And now, and now there's the guard, I think he's listening in and all of this. is like, what? If, if, if Code were to show up right now, that guy plays off against him. He doesn't look capable at all. That's funny, and the guy's just like... Yeah, like he's just got this weird, weird, weird look on his face. The security, like the guard, is like, like, I don't know, it's just that typical face. Like, what? Like, you are, you're saying I'm not capable? I don't look capable. And it is like he's likely a sensory type shinobi. If this code shows up, Lord Seventh or Master Sasuke would properly fight him. I think your watchers are there to swiftly relay you and your enemy's location. I don't know if this is energy talking or if this is the guard talking from a distance to them. If this code shows up, Lord Seventh or Master Sasuke would properly fight him. I think your watchers are there to sh swiftly relay you and your enemies. Look, okay, okay, yeah, I think it's energy talking. So, like, yeah, the watchers are there to basically say, "Yo, yo, the enemy is here." Uh, Kawaki and Boruto are there. Like, get your asses here. Like, okay. What about my privacy? And Boruto's like, he realizes though, obviously, the uh, the point of all this, and he's like, what about my privacy? I want it back. Well, you're not going to get privacy, dude. There is no more privacy. You know, you're like a, you're a weapon of mass destruction, essentially. Like, so yeah, it's not going to happen. Uh, isn't your personal safety more important? <laughs> yeah, Shikido's like, isn't your safety more important? And Kaoki, he's still looking. He's like, and he, he's thinking of Amado now. I suspect he'd die one on one versus cold. It certainly won't go the way it did with Dota. You know that deep down, right? Remember that conversation he had with Armada saying he could give him more power? Kawaki's realizing this, thinking this, yeah. And Energy's like, Boruto's privacy aside, a Konoha sensory unit starting with my Yamanaka clan is super exceptional. So you can relax. Unless the enemy is able to erase their chakra signature, any movement inside Konoha won't be missed. Erase their chakra signature. Interesting. And it's like it's like it's like Kaoki just looks at him when he when energy says there's like a spark going on and he said, hmm. You just don't Boruto's like you just don't get it. Pulling the wrong card is bad enough, but then there's the pain of having every single moment of your life witnessed by strange older men. Yeah, I can see how that would be very off putting actually, yeah. That's very creepy as well, because like you're a kid and you got old men peeping on you. And then he's turning who's who's he uh he's talking to some other dude there? Who is that? All oh, right, it's it's the guy who's uh, selling he's selling the cards, or is it the woman selling the cards? Bah, ma'am, give me another pack. Short thing, yeesh, give it up already. Kawaki's realizing something. A race wants chakra signature, huh? Okay. Now we're cutting to now we're cutting to uh, Sasuke. What's he doing? What's Sasuke doing? I think there's a bunch of guys hiding in bushes, Konoha ninjas, and there's like a there's like there's like a big X on a wall somewhere. Those are the claw marks. Don't get too close. Because he could leap out of there whenever he wants. Stay this far back. Okay, so I think Cold has actually entered the village, maybe? Or maybe not? What's going on? So you got these guards with Sasuke there, keeping guard on this mark there. Sasuke's like, I've been told about his abilities already. Anything since the watch has started, was the watch was started? No. Ten days of nothing. Makes me wonder if we should even bother. Sasuke's leaving. He's he's going for he's leaving from behind the tree and he's going towards the the mark. He's like, "Hey, Uchiha, what are you doing? Get back here! Uh, you're not my boss. Don't talk to me like that. I can do what I want." He's going towards it. He's going towards the X. He's kneeling down. He's looking at it. He looks behind him. He looks behind the tree. What's going on? Are the guards just hiding, or are you deaf? What the heck? And he's getting back up. He won't emerge here. I suspect. He won't emerge here. I suspect. And now the gods like, what? How do you know that? I have no proof. It's simply that if I were him, I'd choose a different spot. That's all. Interesting. No proof? Then it ain't irrelevant. Give me a break. Feel free to disregard my opinion. Especially since I have no authority here. I'll get going. Sorry to bother you. Hey, hold on. Say you're right. What should we do? Oh, now you want Sasuke's opinion. Screw you, you assholes. So as he's looking, he's like, Shikamaru or Sai decided you should watch this place, no? Then carry on as ordered. But, and he's just like, just keep doing your job, as I am. And he jumps off away, and the guards just look at him. And he's like, what's his problem? Stirring up trouble. He's, and the other guards are like, he's so cool. <laughs> Sasuke is cool, but it's weird that you've got some people or Shinobi there that are like, yeah, shut the hell up, we know what we're doing. Or, and then they're asking his opinions. It's weird, it's weird kind of how the relationship is. you think there'd be a lot more respect towards Sasuke here, but... And now we're cutting to the Hokage's building and, and, Shik and Shikamaru on the roof. I see. No, it's fine. That's Sasuke Dewey's thing. 
nothing at the other three spots either. So there's so there's three other spots. That means there's four spots in total. I'm going to take a huge guess that there's probably one in the north, south, west, and east end, I guess. Like, is that what Code's sort of doing? Like, trying to get eyes on every corner of the village? And now uh, someone's walking behind uh, Shikamaru. Yeah, got to keep me posted. Rough going. So I was talking to him. It's Amado. He's walking towards uh, Shikamaru there. Okay. Code has a, has, a fairly, has a fairly cautious nature for sure, but he's not particularly bright. I'm surprised, honestly. I really didn't expect you all to have so much trouble. Sorry to be a bunch of incompetence. You came all the way up here to complain. I wanted some fresh air. Don't get defensive. Hold it right there. Smoking's prohibited here. Don't get prohibited here. But, but, but Shikamaru is smoking, for Christ's sake. Yeah, Shikamaru is smoking. And he's saying it's prohibited. Don't get carried away. So why are you smoking? You know, just like giving them a look like, dude, really? Like, seriously? <laughs> Still at the boating. Uh, don't expect. Hmm? It's funny to hear that come out of your mouth. Because even now, I still think everything's proceeding exactly according to, to some master script you wrote. I know, amado has got that whole mastermind look to him. Like, there's there's definitely more to him than meets the eye. No pun, in, pun intended. Don't be ridiculous. It's been a chain of surprises that I never would have guessed half a year ago. Especially being in Konoha's tender care. But Kawaki was the most unexpected. I didn't think he'd become so devoted to, to, Lord, to Lord Hokage. The core motivation behind all of his actions now is Lord Hokage. Interesting. So Kawaki's obsessed with uh, Naruto, you mean? Perhaps it's because he hasn't really known parental love. But if it's for Lord Hokage, he likely won't balk at paying any price. Hmm. It seems beyond a simple father complex. Way more intense. That's human love for you from a different angle. It appears like madness. In fact, uh, there isn't a clear line separating the two. Madness. So, so the so the chapter title "Madness" refers to Kawaki's obsess obsession and love and care for Naruto, and it's 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 madness basically taking over. It's weird. It's a bit ominous, saying that, isn't it? I'm having trouble trusting anything you say, Mister Genius Scientist. My cigarette doesn't even taste good with you around. Speaking of madness, Code's uh, Code's veneration of Atsutsuki uh, Ichi, uh, uh, Code's veneration of Atsutsuki Ishiki as a god. I don't know if it approaches fanatism. I don't even know how to say that, man. F a n a t i c i s m. Fanatism. Fanatism. Is it? Is that meant? Is that like a longer word for fanatic? Is that it? But. Considering he hasn't shown up after this long, is it possible he's gotten desperate and no longer has any intention of of exacting revenge against Konoha? Oh my, he's just like smiling. Like, huh, how optimistic, especially for you. Though it would be great if true. Yeah, right. Well, it ain't it ain't likely. But that kind of surprise would be most welcome. It would be most welcome. Shikamaru would be, but it's not gonna happen. And now we're cutting to uh, uh, the uh, Uzumaki household. You've got Bur uh, Kawaki coming down the stairs. And there's, there's books in his hands and he's looking. And there's Boruto sitting on a sofa uh, playing video games and Naruto and Hinata on the table. I think they're watching the TV, but why? Why do you have to go? It's got to be me. I'm sorry. I think they're watching a drama. What's going on? I think they're watching a drama. Like, Hinata's really into it. She's got like this blushing on her face and she's got like a handkerchief in her hand. Yeah, yay, ah, oh, damn it. And Boruto's just losing his game. And Naruto, like, is just, like, nodding off. He's sleeping. And him, Hinomari's in her bed sleeping. Little cute hat on her head. Why do people do that? They put hats on their head before they go to sleep. It was weird. And, uh, the... And Hinata sees Kawaki leaving. I'm taking up the trash. Uh, this bundle of magazines. Bundle of magazines. Interesting. And no more. Oh, okay. I think he not just crying actually watching this romance show. It's like, oh, this late? Can't it wait until morning? And Kawaki's like, oh, forget. Broto's like looking. And there's that guard that was uh, spying on them earlier. He's. This is so Itachi. The reason I say this is so Itachi is because it's the exact sort of Itachi shot where he, where he was standing on the pool watching everything from, from above on the. Uh, like when he was watching Sas Sasuke running into the Uchiha town. So, like, it's, like, the same exact, sort of the similar shot. Like, that's funny. Like, the little uh, callbacks to that is great. Like, the moon behind him as well. And he sees Kawaki leaving. This is Nishi. 
Kawaki's left. Uh, he's like, this is Ninchi. Kawaki's left the house. Kawaki stops. He looks up and he sees the guy watching. And now he's worried. And he's jumping over walls. He's landing on the streets. He hides behind the wall and he drops the magazine. What is he doing? He looks and then, I don't know what's going on. He leaves or did the magazine disappear? And now he's jumping into a bush behind the wall. Nishin's looking. There's some. There's something happening in the bushes. And then Kawaki pops out from the bushes. And he's like, ah. And he enters the house again. And now Nishin's like, he's gone back in. All clear. There's something going on in the bushes that Kawaki just went to. I'm thinking he's just made a shadow clone. I think he's made a shadow clone and he's made the clone go inside the house. And now the guy won't realize that Kawaki is still inside uh, the bush, the real one. And there's Boruto still on the sofa, flick, and he looks up, huh? And there's Kawaki entering again. Boruto's looking, Kawaki's going up the stairs, Boruto is following him, he's looking at him. Hey, Kawaki, are you okay? Kawaki looks back, I'm tired. Can we talk tomorrow? What the? And then Boruto notices something, he looks out the, he looks out the door from where Kawaki just came in, and he's like, something's not quite right. And we're cutting back to the bush. Yep, Kawaki's in the bush, he's hiding in the bush, he's coming out and... Boruto's like, I sense Kawaki's presence outside the house. And we're coming back to Nishi. Sensing both Boruto and Kawaki's chakra inside the house. Still all clear. Continue surveillance. And um, Kawaki's sneaking out of the bush now. And now he's running for it. And there's Boruto. He's like, no mistake, he's outside right now. Then that Kawaki who just went upstairs. A shadow doppelganger. I think Kawaki's uh, Shadow Clone must have noticed that Boruto is noticing. And there's Kawaki just running. He's running. What, what's he doing? Is he trying to escape, leave the village? What's going on? He's running. He's heading further and further away. Damn it. What's he up to? Yeah, like, yeah, he's jumping on the rooftops and stuff. Like, he's going. And now Boruto's like, he's getting like a, he's, like, he's realizes, you've got to be kidding me. No matter the reason, he if he's found out, the surveillance is going to get even tighter. i got to drag him back and... Uh, he, he rushes out the door onto the front line. Uh, the sensory unit watcher. Wait a sec. And there's Kawaki still running. Isn't he monitoring both our chakras? So how'd Kawaki get past him? Now Boruto's come outside. Kawaki's still within. What? The Kawaki inside a shadow doppelganger? The one moving away is the real deal? The watcher is only detecting the shadow clone doppelganger's chakra? No way. What's going on? So, yeah, what is going on? It's weird. And now we're cutting back, uh, we're having a flashback to energy, and he's like, so you can relax, unless the enemy is able to erase their chakra signature, any movement inside Konoha won't be missed. So Kawaki's erased his chakra? How the hell did he do that? And Boruto realizes he's erased his chakra signature, and there's just Kawaki legging it. And now we're cutting to Ada, cutting to her eyes, she's seeing things. She's got like a weird Renegon eye on one side, and his other weird moon sun eye on the other that looks like uh the symbol that Hon hogoroma would use i don't know maybe that's just the people but like the moon's part here it's all black and that code kawaki's on the moon he's heading somewhere by himself just calls like mm, okay what aren't there people watching him how do he lose them he's knowing his chakra signature oh ganada has got like a daemon in our arms i think like cuddling him it's a trick that comes naturally to all otsutsuki but he shouldn't have been aware of it yet Maybe it was instinctive. Just like how a fool fowl is able to get up on its own off, off, right after being born. I don't know his motives. What is this? Uh, is he creating horns? Oh no, it's got his, he's got his hands out and he's sharpening them. I don't know his motives, but if he's alone, I can't let this perfect chance slip by. And now we're cutting to like a tree. I think this is outside the village maybe, or is it inside? I think it's outside. There's like a crack in the tree. He's got like the belt on there. And now, yeah, cold is coming out of the belt from the tree. And there's the belt, like, or whatever is the mark, the belt running on his hands. He looks at it and he puts it on his mouth. And now his mouth is coming out of, it's coming out of Ada. Like, uh, she's holding a daemon. And uh, there's like a belt on Ada's arm here. And uh, one of Cold's belts here. And Cold's mouth pops out of it. So he's like, he's got the belt here. And he's like, and now his mouth coming out. Guide me, Ida or Ada. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say uh, Ida's better. Ida. I'm gonna say Ida. Ida. Where is he? Uh, ugh, gross. <laughs> yeah, it is gross. Creepy, actually. So what's going? on? I think Cole just jumped into Konoha. No, it's Kawaki. He's jumping out of Konoha. And that dude, that Nishi dude, is still watching. Like the Boruto ask, uh, I can't go after Kawaki like this. The Watcher will catch me. But how the heck did he manage to erase his chakra? And he's rushing in into the room where Kawaki's uh, clone is. 
I know you're a doppelganger. What are you thinking? And Carl was like, keep your voice down. It'll, it'll, it'll be trouble if they find out. And you erase the chakra to control the real you. How do you do? And I think he realizes. He's looking at, how come I can tell where the real you is? Yeah. And now Kai goes like, damn it, Boruto. It's probably because he's Otsutsuki too, or doomed to what? Infinity. He's sensing me by something like wave patterns. Interesting. And there's Cole waiting on a tree branch, waiting for Kawaki, I think. And there's Ada listening. Oh, he's got his ear. He's got his hand on his ear. And now his ear's popping out and he's listening to her. Kawaki's outside the village, heading due west. I wonder why. Huh. Whatever it is, I'll just ask him directly. And that's where the chapter ends. A whole bunch of where nothing happened again. Okay, that's probably a bit... I mean, yeah, I mean, literally, nothing really happened. It's just... It's just kind of, wow, this was a really fast chapter as well. 20 minutes, I'm done already? Damn. Um, yeah, it just goes to show that nothing really happened. Like, uh, Kawaki gets told about the sensory barrier and uh, about erasing his chakra. He's erased his chakra somehow, maybe because he's a Tsutsuki. And now Cold uh, found, out about it, found out about it, and now he's heading outside to confront Kawaki. And Boruto knows, and now he's going to have to do something about, I don't know, stopping him. Um, I read some reactions that people said, oh, we're getting a Kawaki retrieval arc. And it's like, Really? Really, we're gonna get a retrieval arc like Sasuke 2.0? I don't think so. I think what's good, what's likely to happen here is is that maybe Kawaki wants to confront Cold. Maybe, maybe that's his plan, or maybe he is trying to escape. I'm thinking he's got something else planned. I'm thinking he does want to like, uh, like fight Cold. Maybe, maybe, maybe make a deal like you know, you take me and then uh, you leave Naruto or whatever alone. Maybe he's gonna try and uh, play a trick on him and backstab him. We'll see. But clearly, we're getting we're gonna be going into a fight. And obviously, like, Broto, like, I, I don't feel like he's going to sneak out the house. Surely he's going to have to go to his dad and his mom and tell them, yo, this is this is what Kawaki's actually doing. And this is going to have to, like, raise a high alert and get all the stronger characters there now to, like, help out. I think, I'm thinking this is going to lead into a big, big confrontation that may or may not end with uh, either Ida and uh, Damon coming in to perhaps uh, save Cold if things don't look good, like they're not going well for him in this upcoming fight. And he's going to have, like, huge uh, repercussions, I think, like, with what's going to happen next. Because uh, I think this is going to be the next major fight we're going into. It's going to be, like, there's this fight outside Konoha Village, like, right outside Konoha Village. And, yeah, stuff is going to heat up. So I think next chapter there's going to be Kawaki and Cole just confronting each other, just having, like, a discussion before it leads into the fight. And, yeah, um... Yeah, I'm curious how they're going to do this. I mean, uh, and I'm also curious what the anime is going to be doing, because, like, the anime is catching up. The anime is catching up. Like, there's not... There's not a lot of content left for them to adapt. Like we're getting to that, uh, we're getting to that uh, Kashin Kojin fight. Like what next, next, next week? Literally next week, I think is the Kashin Kojin fight. Like it's the start of it. And then we're going into that. We're going into the reveal, and then right after that, it's going to go into uh, yeah, uh, Kashin versus uh, no, sorry, Jigen versus or in this case Ishiki versus Naruto and Sasuke uh, round two with uh, Boruto and Kaki then coming in. So yeah, uh, things are speeding up. Like, uh, we've only really gotten two can anime canon episodes in between that. Well, actually, we had, like, three, didn't we? We had, like, three or four anime canon episodes in between uh, the canon stuff, uh, between the manga canon stuff. So it's like, it's like, what are you going to do then? Like, after off, off Kashin off the Koji, it's going to go straight into, like, that final battle, right? Uh, so what are you going to do? Like, how are you going to... There needs to be, there needs to be, like, a, a new... There needs to be an anime canon arc or something, or... Or they're so in, sort of, I don't know, I can't see them planning this out, because, like, how are they going to do this, like, I mean, let's, let's, let's look at how many chapters we got, right, let's, let's look at how many chapters we got, and see how much um, anime material they're going to be even able to adapt, because I've got this weird feeling that there's not a lot, there's not a lot left that they can adapt, like, I mean, how many chapters are they ahead right now? Yeah, we're gonna. So yeah, next week we're starting. We're essentially starting volume twelve, and there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Now, so we got. So right now, there's eighteen chapters for them to adapt. And what, like, uh, each each episode adapts like one, uh, like one chapter, like if it, if it gets to it, I think. So what you got a motto, you got the faction. I'm assuming because if that's the case, then we got like a good, we got a good like 18 chapters ahead. I don't, I don't think they would like put in two and two, would they? Or is it two, two chapters per episode? I don't, I'm not really sure about that. 
But all right, yeah, we're getting we're getting to that freaking end, man. We're getting to that freaking end, like, like an, uh, for example, Naruto's power mode, uh, uh, power up, where it doesn't happen until volume fourteen. So yeah, uh boy. I'm wondering, I'm wondering if they're gonna end uh, Naruto like uh, the Boruto anime and 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 in at, like and end it with volume fourteen, maybe. Like with Cold Bowing Revenge, and then it just ends there, and then and then like that's it. It's like that's Boruto anime done, and then we're gonna do like Boruto part two, and that's when it continues. Because surely you would think they would wait to do the time skip, right? But the way things are going now, like it is gonna catch up very soon, unless unless this upcoming uh, volume that we're in. I mean, technically speaking, volume fifteen is done. We're actually on volume sixteen. We're on volume sixty, so this is the halfway point of volume sixteen, actually. So. I'm, I'm trying to think like how, how many how many months more do I think no I don't th I don't think this fight that we're gonna get is gonna end this year I think this is gonna stop, this is a fight that's gonna go into next year as well unless the next two the next two chapters are basically sort of like talking in the beginning of the fight and then volume 17 is gonna be the end of that fight and they just try and throw everything they can in until like it leads to the time skip um, I'm very curious what they're gonna do with that. So I'm very curious about that and where the where the where the Boruto anime is going to end because I do have a feeling the Boruto anime is going to have to sort of come to a close and then go on a break and then maybe either pull a Shippuden or like it just goes on a hiatus high, high and then it comes back like a year later when when there's enough manga material to adapt or they figured out what kind of anime original material they want to do. Honestly, they should they should adapt some of the novels that are still left to adapt. They got the Gara Sakura uh, novels they can do. Um, wasn't there other novels they can do? Uh, they did. They did Shikamaru. They did Sasuke's, and they did the Konoha novel. Um, Gara, Kakashi. There was a Kakashi novel. They can adapt those. I don't get why they haven't adapted those. Like those were those would make. Uh, I think those would be interesting to adapt at least, because at least then you could do it like in a flashback. Like you can you can cut to like Gara, a future Gara in the sand village, and he's telling uh, his, his son, his adopted son, like his story, and you get that. Or you go to Sakura and she's telling the story and you get that and you get to you go to Crush and he's telling his story and then you know you can make like anime canon stuff out of all of those characters that are there. Hell, you can even make an anime canon of how Sasuke and Sakura uh, Sakura got married or how uh, Sarada was born. There's a lot of potential stuff like that to sort of at least at least create some sort of gap between, you know, uh, the manga adaptation and, 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 and you know like before before it like they have to do like more anime canon like but yeah, I think I feel like I feel like uh, yeah, it's gonna get to like a point. We're probably gonna get some sort of update very soon. Where it's like, guys, this is it. It's ending. Like, this is the ending point. Like, and we're gonna go on a break or something. But yeah, um, overall chapter. Yeah, I wasn't really a fan of it. I wasn't a fan of this chapter. Like, uh, like I said, nothing really major happens until like the very last two, three pages or something. Like, it's just, it's just build up. It's more build up. It's more set up, and it's really boring. Like, I really am not a fan of the manga. Like, the anime is great, I'm gonna defend that, uh, but uh, the manga, like, it's just, it's slow, and it doesn't have a lot of development, like, do you know what I mean? It's just, this is all story development, there's not really any, when I say this character, there's char there's some character, but like, a lot of others don't really get focus. It's like, here you go, here's Shikadai, here's energy, we'll just throw them in there, there you go. Well, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Anyway, guys, I hope you like that. As always, like and subscribe, and I shall see you when I shall see you. Take care and bye.